policy introduced by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been blamed for the harsh economic realities in the country. Nigerians have criticized the president for removing the petroleum subsidy without putting measures in place to address the consequent hike in fuel price and its ripple effect on prices of other commodities. Two months into the administration, the president in a nationwide broadcast announced some palliative measures including the release of 200,000 metric tons of grains for households to regulate prices across the nation. The president also announced the release of 200 billion and 50 billion naira for cultivation of rice, maize, wheat and cassava, as well as the release of 250,000 metric tons of fertilizers to farmers. However, many are worried that have hazard implementation of these laudable measures, just like in the past, may frustrate achieving the desired goals. They say there is no sign the government is doing things differently. 200 metric tons of our grains release is grossly inadequate. It's inadequate, it will not take, it will not make any impact, so to say. It will not make significant impact on the, and you know how governments, you know, disperse these palliatives. COVID-19 is a typical example. Uh, recently you have heard what had happened in Adamao State. You know, still there are grains meant to be dispersed during COVID, but they are hoarded. So we are urging to government to make sure that uh, they want these government to address insecurity, which has kept many farmers away from their farms for fear they will be kidnapped for ransom. Many are now living in internally displaced persons camps. We have to mechanize our agriculture. We have to inject science and technology in our agriculture. We have to make maximum use of science and technology. There has to be soil laboratory in every state of the federation or many as much soil laboratory within a state not only one so uh, as it is now we have to from sokoto we have to go to kaduna to test our soil which is not too pleasant for for commercial agriculture secondly the insecurity is there most of the areas where farmers are cultivating the lands they are not actually accessible due to the insurgence of our bandit free and other insecurity challenges. So the issue is there must be security of lives of smallholder farmers so that they cultivate the land. Additionally, when you look at budgetary allocation to agriculture, it's nothing to write home about. Experts say unless real farmers are targeted through a sincere implementation strategy as well as embracing mechanization, research, science and advancement with genuine effort to end insecurity. The government 200 billion naira in agri loan will be another jamboree without achieving the purpose it set out to achieve. Suleiman Nasser, Arise News, South Quattro.